hello and uh, welcome back to a new video i am harish in this channel i talk about uh, creating websites applications prototypes or pretty much anything without any coding and uh, this video is about creating a mobile app using google sheets and thunkable thunkable also allows you to create uh, web apps uh, without coding and using the same code base or same uh, design that you create on the project that you have on Thunkable, right? So using Thunkable, you can create either a mobile app or a web, web app or even um, uh, an iOS or Android app, which is essentially the mobile app. I don't know why I repeated that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly get started with this. For this example, I'm going to follow up with my previous video where I showed how uh, you can uh, fetch any Reddit uh, subreddit uh, posts and I was uh, using the Astro Photography subreddit and I pulled the data into a Google Sheet and we are going to use the same Google Sheet and uh, convert this into a proper mobile application or a, you can also use this as a web application, right? To test apps that you build on Thunkable, you need a Thunkable application on your Android phone or iOS phone. So make sure you have that if you want to test what you build on this. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first step is uh, to create an account. Obviously, since I've signed in, I'm going to say, uh, let's go and uh, create a first project. I'm going to click on that and say Astro Pix. I'm just going to name it simple. All the projects, uh, if you don't pay, are public in Thunkable. Just remember that. And uh, yeah, once you have this screen, the next step is to uh, integrate uh, obviously the google sheet right so what we're going to do is uh, let's see if we can grab a yeah a data viewer grid i'm going to grab that and put it on the screen this is going to be used as a, a way to display the images obviously so we are looking at a, a subreddit data where we have images uh, and also data related to each post where the image was created on on reddit right so we have title obviously for each image and then the image url itself so now our next step is to actually connect our sheet to this particular app right so if you can see on the right you see data source i'm just going to say click add and then i'm going to create new and then go to google sheets and inside the google sheet you can name every uh, data sheet that you import so i'm going to say earth sorry astro images which row obviously the first one is the headings and the second row has the data i'm going to say select sheet and it'll show all the sheets of the authorized account so i'm going to select this one since that is the name of the sheet and then i'm going to say create once i do this it should ideally import my data so yeah as you can see on the right my sheet is imported i'm going to say select which sheet it is the sheet too let's go quickly verify yeah it is called sheet 2 because i deleted the sheet 1 uh, yeah and uh, if i go back to thunkable yes now it is asking me to select the picture and the text right so let's go select the picture the picture is obviously the url and the title text is the title right so the title column has the text so these are the columns uh, if you forgot these are the columns where we have the data so if I go back here um, and if I just quickly scroll to the end where the URL is quickly visible, this is the column where the URL of the image is and this is the column name. Similarly, this is the title and this is the title of the image, right? So with that selected, uh, you don't have to change anything else. Uh, I would ideally recommend you change any of the other settings depending on how the app looks right so once you're done doing this the next step is uh, to preview obviously now that you have already imported the data from the google sheet to thunkable and also selected which data you want to show now it should ideally show the data in the preview app you can preview the same thing on your uh, mobile app itself to download the thunkable app that is available on the play store or the ios app store you can preview this directly on the mobile as well. So as you can see, this pretty much shows up all the rows that we have 
in the Google Sheet along with the title for each image that we have, right? So, yep. Now, if you want to live test this, all you have to do is click on live test and uh, you should be able to test this, as I said, on the Thunkable live application. And you can also preview this as a responsive web app if you click here. So I'm going to click that and see if it shows up. What should happen now is uh, you should see a web app of the same app that you just created. Right? That's it. This is how it will look. Now, if I am going to resize, let me see if this, okay, this doesn't get tracked. So let me quickly pull it back into the screen that you were able to see and uh, resize the screen so that uh, this web app can probably resize itself. I'm going to quickly refresh it for the preview. Yes. And uh, what happens if we resize this? It should ideally align. Yeah, as you can see, it does it does move around a bit. So that's how you create a web app or even a mobile app that works on either iOS or Android or even the web, right? So alternatively, you can also visit thunkable.live and uh, log in to preview this same application on your mobile as well without having to install any of these softwares. Um, so what else can you do here? right so what you can do is uh, ideally to make it more seamless seamless for the users who are trying your application what i would do is i would go to the blocks and uh, select the screen and when the screen initializes i would ideally show a circular progress bar uh, and then once the images are loaded i would show the images to the user so that's how you create a simple web app or a mobile app uh, using thunkable if you like this video do drop a like and also consider subscribing to the channel because that that will help me create more videos like this uh, i hope you've learned a quick way to uh, create mobile apps using thunkable uh, and also the google sheets integration using the data viewer grid on thunkable right so that's it for this video consider subscribing once again and uh, peace